Good morning. Oh, good morning, Ami, Dan, Jeff, OKC, OmniWin, Dot. How are we doing? My hair's looking wet. Too wet. Too wet this morning. I need to record the show as well. Um, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. How do I say the day every day, yet forget? I don't know how. It's impossible. It should be impossible. Um, ready for some morning trivia. Morning, morning trivia. Um, I don't know what the weather's like. My curtains are closed. Just keep the sun out. Oh, it, it is. It is cloudy. Uh, good morning, anime Dan. Sam Sam Ceratops. That's a good name. Crawdad Fridays. It's coming. It's coming very soon. Crawdad will be um, crawdadding his way through all his questions that he writes, which is good. I didn't sleep. Good. Maybe not good. I don't know. Uh, I slept quite well last night, actually. And then woke up for some winning. Well, but to help others win. That's what I do every morning. Every weekday morning. Uh, good morning, Cyber Goddess. After more or less last night, we had some good winners. Eight pounds in the end. That was good. Um, Jeremy came on for the first time. That was fun. Um, who was the last winner? I can't remember now. It was mm, not mega. It was Mad Sam, Mad Sammy from Saudi Arabia was playing. That was fun. Hello, Taiwan John. I woke. I first woke up an hour ago. That's good. It is hot seat tonight with Joe. Nice. Um, we keep it very random, which is maybe good. I've read a lot of things though that um, random is like bad. Um, people don't like random really. They want it to be like less random because uh, random's too random. Good morning, Mad Sam. Hello, Cowboy Weasel. Sin. Wake up and sin. Or sun. Interesting. You mean win, apricot? Maybe. You know. um, the wheel does have special powers. That are beyond me, I don't control the wheel. Even I can't choose who wants to come up. Only the wheel can. Even we have to make decisions, most of the time we just go to polls because like the uh, democracy. Democracy for some things. Um, just woke up too early for tired. I'm too early for tired too. Um, is it early though? 8 a.m.? It's pretty late, pretty late. Get up earlier. Uh, 71 people here, so I have a game show tonight. This is Taiwan John. I'll be looking forward to it. Actually, Taiwan John. Okay, I don't know yet. I'll message you. I'll DM you. Hello, handsome Rebstein. I say more Benadryl. Benadryl. Um, yeah, the wheel. wheel is unfortunate. Been up for four hours. I respect that. So 4 a.m. he got up. That's early. That is early. Um, I have to go and ride a bike to the office after this show. That's literally what I do. I get up, I put my bag on, and I get on a bike. And then I'll work from there all day. And then return in the evening. I decided to get an office. We got a more office because I was like, I don't like working from home all day. But actually what I end up doing is working from home, <laughs> doing more trivia, going to the office to like 5.36, then coming back, and then continuing to work from home during uh, the evening as well. Because like, I don't know if I want to spend like from 8 a.m. to like 10 p.m. in the office. Um, so as much as I tried to separate working from home and in the office, uh, unfortunately, I am just working from, I'm working from both now, I'm just working more. Um, when will more, be interested prize money good question no idea what you mean by that uh, 19 hours twice sent me free 4.30 today 4.30 yeah it's, it's early, it's early. Um, one minute to go then we'll kick off uh, 186 people jumped up the, the view count has skyrocketed uh, 
more, 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 indeed. Uh, right. So, it is now five past eight. Uh, good morning, or good evening, or good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Tim, and this is our very easy daily trivia quiz show. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, there's five questions. The quicker you answer, the more points you get. And um, if you get over 30,000 points, you win a cash prize. Payout, please. Um, payout. Well, uh, yeah, payouts on Mondays if you uh, if you cash out there. Um, and that is, that is how it works. Unless um, you don't get paid out because uh, it gets held up for some reason. Like um, if you have three or four different PayPal's that get banned and we try and pay it four times, then that sometimes means it doesn't get paid. But anyway, moving on. Um, first question of the day. Uh, very, very easy one, hopefully, to start with. Um, we are talking about um, items that are traditionally regarded as unlucky. So my question is, which of these items is traditionally regarded as unlucky? Is it a broken mirror, a rabbit's foot, or the number seven? I have... I, for me, rabbit's feet have never been lucky for me. I've never had a rabbit's foot be lucky. Um, or the number seven. Um, but broken feet uh, is broken, very broken feet. A broken mirror is unlucky, which 83 of you got right. Well done. Uh, 32 rabbits, 86. Number seven. Unfortunately, number seven is traditionally regarded as lucky. Um, I don't read the question properly. Oof, oof. It's early. Um, but yeah, a broken mirror. Uh, is broken feet are unlucky in a different way, I'd agree. Um, so I was Googling, right? Why are breaking mirrors unlucky? Uh, so apparently it was the Romans that originally made shiny surfaces and um, they believed that gods observed souls through mirrors. So to damage a mirror was disrespectful to the gods, which would mean that it would give you bad luck. And apparently the Romans also believed that the body renewed itself every seven years so that is why every seven years you'd get bad luck from a Uh, it is. Um, in this game, which the players are given names of the four what? Is it the four seasons, the four places, or the four compass points? This one again, hopefully not too tricky, if you can get it. What are the four places? They are England, Wales, Scotland, and Ireland. They are the four places of... Uh, the United Kingdom but um, it is in fact compass points compass points is the correct answer for the game of bridge 103 of you getting that right 47 for seasons 61 for places uh, well done to 103 of you um, yeah they're called north south east and west no facts about bridge I did read a lot about bridge though and um, apparently it's a game of skill that you can play at any age and it has a thriving online community that was all I could do um, if you ever read Incoherent Bridge, I don't know, it's never, I don't know if I, um, well done to Rebstein, Ever to Rare, Quiz Monster, Twice Set Me Free, Microwave, ZeroCon, Caroline, Jeff Keys, Bev, and Steph81 in the top 10 places so far, but we have three more questions to go, and they're on a mass, a vast, a, a mass variety of topics today, uh, right, we are high to my 12th. That's it. So you're getting it. Um, talking about this place, which looks like any um, any perfect beach somewhere, um, but it is in fact a beach in the Mediterranean, the Mediterranean Sea, to be precise. Uh, and my question is, in terms of area, which is the largest island here? 
Is it Malta, Sicily, or Crete? Tim's bath. I wish that was my bath. I can't remember the last time I went to a beach that nice that wasn't in England. I've been to a nice English beach, yeah, in Cornwall there's some nice English beaches. Um, well, um, by area, the largest island in the Mediterranean Sea is, in fact, Sicily. Sicily is the biggest. Um, which is 67, you got it right, well done. 36 Malta, 33 for Crete. Um, isn't that scary? Nest? It probably is. Uh, yeah, it's, Sicily has an area of 25 kilometers, 25,000 kilometers squared, um, followed by Sardinia, which is 24,000, and then followed by Cyprus, a massive dip, which is only 9,000 uh, kilometers squared. So, big by quite a bit, the top two. Um, does England have nice beaches? No. We do not. We do not. We also pollute all our rivers and seas, so you can't swim in the water anymore, or you will uh, catch diseases. Um, which we love the government for. Thank you so much. Um, question four, though, thinking about diseases, we're talking about Canada. No, Canada is not a disease, um, but sports is a disease that spreads um, to everyone. Uh, but in terms of some sports, my question is, which sport was invented by a PE instructor from this nation? Is it basketball, volleyball, or baseball. The disease of sports hits everyone. Um, well, I would have never thought this would have been invented by a Canadian, but it was in fact uh, basketball, which 46 of you got right, well done, 25 for volleyball, 23 for baseball. Um, very, very easy. It's James Naismith who invented it in 1891 in Massachusetts. Uh, he was a Canadian, and he won a sport that was a bit less prone to injury than American football when he was 31. And he also made it to keep athletes indoors during uh, during the winter periods. A perfect score of zero. That is that is not good. Um, there we go. There we go. Let's look at the leaderboards. Um, Naismith was Canadian. True, true. He was. Um, Urban Sobrero. Followed by Bev, now come out Tim Dozer, The Amazing Puzzle, ZeroCon, OmniWins, SJP, Lynn, and Gladly Thompson 501 in the top 10 positions. Um, well done, well done. Right, one more question to go though. And I should say, top 11 people already won prizes all the way down to Charlie. Well done all, well done all. One more, one more to go to get in. Omni wins an Omni win again. That's true. Tim Dozer's leader streak is over. I like that. I like that. That's good. Right. Um, from sports to the Mediterranean to bridge to bad luck to reservoir dogs. Good Tarantino film. A classic Tarantino film, I would say. Um, probably my favourite one, actually. Yeah, I think I think it probably is my favourite out of all that he's made. But my question is. Um, which of these was not a code name used in the film? Was it Mr. White, Mr. Black, or Mr. Orange? Now, did I know this one? I knew the answer when I read this question initially. So, uh, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't, like, I, I think I knew it, because I, I do like Quest of the Dog. Um, but it was, in fact, Mr. Black. Mr. Black was not used. It's 41 of you got right. 31 for Mr. Orange and 12 for Mr. White. Yes, it is in fact true. Um, Mr. Orange is played by Tim Roth and Mr. White is played by Harvey Keitel. Um, so there we go. That was it. Reservoir Dogs. Done. Uh, Mr. Pink. True or false? I'm sleepy. Um, right. That's like, let's look at the leaderboards. How are we doing? It is false. It's Flace. Sorry. That's right. Yeah, Flace. Urban Sombrero. Well, that was almost perfect score. Probably now cut that out. Uh, Gladly Thompson. Um, Rebstein. Quizmonster. Maxiplot. SJP. Bev. Charlie. Tim Dozer. Amazing Puzzle. We Like Shapes. Decon. Steph. Dino. Rubber Mage. Omniwind. Anime Dan. Efron. Amaze. Chantilly. Test 1. Test 2. Syme. Philo. Lynn. Train Macaro. Swizzler. Microwave, Samir, Ma, and oh, Mad Sam, just, just outside, literally, just piney outside. 
Uh, well done, 32 points. That was painful. Uh, we're up to 20 people winning today. Uh, very, very well done. Um, it's here's your winners pop up. Um, it's quarter. It's quarter past eight. Um, exactly the right time to finish. Um, and that's it. That's it for me. Um, by the time we got 10,000 points on the last question as well. That was really, really, really tight. Um, unlucky, unlucky. Um, thank you so much for playing. Um, um, I will be back when I'm back tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. probably. Um, but we do have two other game shows later today. Uh, so uh, see you at 3 p.m. and potentially see you at 8 for Hot Seat as well. 29 winners, indeed. Um, do you find it my mad Sam? It's mad last night. I did ask, but I can't remember what the answer was. I can't remember what it was. Uh, thank you so much for playing. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will now run away and leave you to your gettings ons. Goodbye. Your gettings ons. Goodbye.